Today, we're gonna to show you guys three different ways to make hand sanitizer at home. The first recipe we're gonna show you is the World Health Organization's recipe for making hand sanitizer using rubbing alcohol. If you have trouble finding rubbing alcohol like we did, you can also get grain alcohol, which you can find at your local liquor store. Last up, if you guys don't want to rely on your local stores to supply you with rubbing alcohol and grain alcohol, then you can always make it at home yourself using an air still. That way you can be totally self-sufficient and make hand sanitizer for your friends and family. Make sure you watch right to the very end because we're also going to show you how to make homemade disinfectant wipes. Rubbing alcohol has 95% alcohol content, so we added the required amount of water to dilute it as such high alcohol content is not good for your skin. You can also use isopropanol alcohol which has a 70% alcohol content, in which case we would follow the same procedure but leave out the water. For our second hand sanitizer recipe, we are going to be using grain alcohol, aloe vera, and some essential oil. This is a great alternative if you can't find rubbing alcohol. In order for sanitizer to be effective, it must have an alcohol content of at least 60%. Keep this in mind when you're diluting your alcohol products down with water and moisturizers, etc. So the last thing we're going to do is add some lemon essential oils to our handmade hand sanitizer. And then we're going to bottle it up. You could also add a few drops of vitamin E oil or tea tree oil. We're making hand sanitizing wipes today using baby wipes and the WHO's hand sanitizing recipe that we showed you at the beginning of this video. We're also going to use these cotton pads and turn them into disinfecting wipes. these little cotton pads for disinfecting wipes. I'm going to simply soak them in the WHO's recipe for hand sanitizer and put them in this cute little container. So the final way that we're gonna make hand sanitizer today is by using an air still. This is a great option because it allows you to be self-sufficient and you don't need to rely on local stores to supply you with rubbing alcohol or grain alcohol to make hand sanitizer. To get started, we're gonna mix sugar, water, and yeast together and then let it ferment for about two weeks. So now that we got our sugar wash all mixed up, one last thing we gotta do is we gotta put a little hole in the top of this container because when yeast ferments, it off gasses CO2. So, so the sugar wash is done fermenting. Now it's time to add it to the air still and fire this thing up. Now I'm not gonna go over the ins and outs of how the air still works. If you guys purchase one of these, there's a pamphlet that comes with all the instructions on how to use this thing. If you're interested in purchasing an air still like the one we're using, we've put a link in the description below of the one we bought. When collecting alcohol from the air still, use a stainless steel or glass collection vessel. So the alcohol that we got from our air still after running it through twice is now 85%. This is important because we're going to dilute it with other ingredients when making the hand sanitizer and we want the final alcohol content to be between 60 and 70%. So now that we got our alcohol produced from our air still, we can use this as a substitute for rubbing alcohol or the grain alcohol used in either one of our recipes. If you guys have any questions about this process, I'd love to hear from you guys. Drop me a comment. More than anything, we hope that this video helped some of you stay safe during this time. 
If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment, and most of all, share this on Facebook, on your Instagram, share it with all your friends. These kind of products should be accessible to everybody, not just the people who bought it at the beginning of this crisis.